Dear student, this is Shailesh Deida Janbandhu, Assistant Professor in Department of Bicom Computer Application. And our subject is Fundamentals of Computer. Today's topic, Computer Software. We already know that the computer system cannot do anything itself. It needs some instructions from the users. So computer hardware cannot do anything, any type of work or any functioning. To perform any type of operation, computer system need a software or instructions from the user. And that instructions can be given by the user using different type of software. So when we talk about the computer system, we should talk about the hardware as well as software because both are complementary to each other. Even if we have only computer system hardware and do not have any application software or system software, that computer system just a box or black box on which we cannot perform a single thing. So when we want to continue or work on computer system, we need hardware as well as software. When we talk about software, the computer system has two types of software that is system software and application software a system software a software is a set of program or instructions to perform a specific task or specific operations uh, the computer system need a system software for support to development of other applications because when we need to develop uh, application we need a platform and that platform is called as a system software again when we want to execute application or a program on our computer system that need different type of support to execute it that support can be given to a computer system by its system software and that system software is also called as a operating system monitor uh, keyboard uh, mouse are different uh, uh, peripherals which are attached with a computer system and to manage these peripherals we need a system software uh, the, the keyboard no uh, or keyboard used to give a input but the, the hardware doesn't know how to get the input that system software give the instructions to the keyboard to type or uh, uh, what type of data we transfer from keyboard to our computer or our ALU okay to communicate different type of values from one place to another one or one component to another again we need a system software that system software consists of number one operating system operating system is a software by which a computer's peripherals can be managed okay second one is a translator translator we already know that the computer system cannot understand the high level language the high level language is which is used by a user because user don't know the machine level language so when we communicate with computer system that time we or the user uses the high level language but, but computer system cannot understand the high level language it convert that high level language into the machine level language or binary language to convert this high level language to machine level language we need a translator and that translator is also available in a system software next one utility program when we install a operating system into a computer system that time some small programs are also downloaded or installed in our computer that small programs are called utility programs means even if we don't have another uh, or special applications we can work on a small work on a computer system just like calculator character pad notepad wordpad games these are the utility programs which are always available with our operating system means utility program means a small programs to perform a specific task just like calculator we used to calculate wordpad we used to uh, write some passages or particular letters we can work on it okay next one device drivers we already know that the computer system is a 
network system or a topology system which connect each and every peripheral to its uh, CPU, central processing unit. And these all things are called just like keyboard, mouse, CPU, the monitor are the peripherals. And these peripherals need a special application or special software. The software or the packages is called as a drivers because uh, you know that if a car driven by a user or driver, we need a driver to drive the car. Same way to operate these peripherals, we need a driver program to execute them to operate them smoothly so the computer system or system software also have the drivers or utility programs drivers or peripheral drivers to manage the peripheral next one communication software uh, different type of communication software is also included in our computer system and these are also attached with our system software just like network environment uh, to, to execute or to access the net on our computer system we need a browser the explorer or internet explorer we have an explorer by which we can communicate with other world or outside world next one these are the utilities which are available with computer systems and system software now we have application software application software are those type of software which give the instructions to the computer system to perform a specific task when we want to write something or to make the paragraphs or to write the books or messages then we need a word when we want to uh, create a page sheet or uh, different type of sheets we need an excel or when we create the slideshow or animation that time we use the powerpoint these are the application software through which we perform a specific task so we have two types of application software that is pre-written application software and user written application software Pre-written application software are those software which are general purpose. Means every time when we install it in one computer or another computer, both are work, uh, same work or both are used for general purpose. It's called as a pre-written software. It is also firmware software also because these are uh, uses or these can be developed in a company or particular uh, area okay next one is user written application depending on the demand of the user some application software were developed and this application software is called as a user written application software or depending on the need of the user we develop or programmer develop the application software and that type of software is called as a user written application software just like uh, the software for the medical shop software for for the malls or retailers these are the uh, user written application software because every user has his own uh, demand or situations on that situation or on that demand we create a programmer create a application therefore it is called as a user written application software some of the application software that called as a pre-written application software that is word processing when we want to create a documentation that time we use the word processing software just like ms word spreadsheet as software when we use the column and row wise information to put into a um, table that particular software is called as a spreadsheet software we use as a ms excel as a spreadsheet software third one is a database software when the data is is for a specific unit just like a bird just like a car just like a student for means the data which is used to store in a specific format row and column wise format and a specific 
uh, unit that time we use the databases and that databases used to create the tables according uh, to their tuples so this is called database software next one graphic software to create a graphics uh, just like paintings or different type of aircraft designings uh, CAD uh, computer edit designs these are the graphical softwares on which we create a graph or create a graphics or animations next one personal assistance software some software uses to uh, take a assistance from the computer system that type of uh, assistance can be given in our uh, ms office also some packages also give the personal assistance which give assist to the com uh, computer systems users to how to create or how to perform a specific uh, task can be explained by a computer system that type of software is called as a personal assistance software outlook is also a personal assistant because it takes all the data uh, of co uh, contacts of your email and mobile number so it is also a personal assistant software next one educational software some of educational uh, needs mathematical calculations or particular recognized alphabets uh, reading writing process these also include in a application software which is designed to educate the students and last one is a entertainment software different type of entertainment softwares are available window media player vlc players these are also uh, example of entertainment software on which we can play audio as well as video all these things include in a architecture or software architecture in the middle of the architecture we have a hardware that is that means our computer system to manage the hardware we need a system software means all type of peripherals can be managed by a system software to execute a specific task we need a application software because without application we cannot work on a computer system and last one the user because we have a hardware system software and application software to manipulate but if we do not have the user for that computer system the system will idle for a whole time for that we need a user so this architecture is common for all type of computer system it would be a laptop it would be a desktop or mini computers we need a hardware to manage the hardware we have a system software to execute a specific task we need application software and to use of all these things we need a user thank you for the day